Welcome back to the Kutubar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, while this bullish divergence is still playing out for Ethereum, we are now seeing a new pattern form for Bitcoin, which sets up a new price target. So I'll be talking about that in just a moment. Definitely stick around. First of all, starting off on the four-day Bitcoin chart, and over the last one day, not a lot has changed here on the four-day time frame. So if you're new to the channel and you want to know more about this chart right here, then check out my last video on the channel to find out more. So we're getting straight into the daily Bitcoin chart, and right now, as I've recorded in this video, the price of Bitcoin is still trading above this important area of support in between around 24.3K to 25.3K. And as for the daily Bitcoin price oscillators, first of all, looking at the daily Bitcoin Bitcoin MACD. As of right now, this is still showing very low momentum. But with that being said, it is looking more bullish than bearish because if you're looking at the histogram, this is currently in the green, showing a small amount of bullish momentum. And as for the daily Bitcoin RSI, as I talked about in my last video, this has recently experienced a breakout from this descending line of resistance right here. And so technically speaking, that is a bullish signal pointing towards a possible reversal from this bearish trend into a new short to term bullish trend. But in order to become more confident that we're really flipping bullish again on the daily time frame, we ideally need to see, first of all, some higher highs in the RSI, because as of right now, we have not yet seen new higher highs in the RSI. And obviously, if we end up seeing a higher low in place in the price or a higher high, of course, that is another sign of a bullish trend. So at least as of right now, we do have some early signals pointing towards a potential trend reversal, like the breakout in the RSI and also the higher lows in the RSI because of course we have that bullish divergence still currently active. And so at the very least, we do to see either some choppy sideways price action, if not a slight bullish relief, because they're the most common outcomes from a bullish divergence. And so far, that's exactly what has been playing out. And just staying on the daily Bitcoin chart, and right now, of course, we are forming a new falling wedge pattern because obviously we have lower highs and lower lows in the price. But as you can see, the price is entering into a converging range. These lines are converging converging together the support and resistance. First of all, this support line is sitting at approximately $25,000. And as for resistance, this line of resistance right here is sitting at around 26.6K to 26.7K. And so essentially that is the level that we need to break out above with confirmation, like for example, ideally daily candle closes above 26.7K in order to help confirm a breakout from this descending line of resistance in the price action. And in case you're new to this channel, a falling wedge pattern is known as a bullish pattern because roughly around two thirds of the time a falling wedge breaks out to the upside and only around a third of the time a falling wedge actually breaks out to the downside. And so obviously it's not impossible for a falling wedge to break to the downside, but that's simply the less likely scenario. And now if we do end up confirming a breakout above this resistance in the price, then in that case that would set up a technical price target at the top of the wedge, which is sitting at around $30,000. And so if you measure out that move from the point of the breakout to that price target, that's around a 12% move to the upside if this breaks out and confirms. And as always, the point of invalidation, if we actually break out, would simply be a break back below that line right here, this previous line of resistance. Because if that happens, if we see a small breakout and come back to the downside, then that essentially is just a fake out and that invalidates the breakout to the upside. And as for short-term support and resistance, looking at the Bitcoin order books, we have a decent amount of buy orders in between 26,000 to 26.1K acting as support. And as for resistance, we have a decent amount of sell orders in between around 26.9K to 27.1K acting as resistance. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, the price of ETH is still testing this important area of resistance, which is sitting in between around 1620 to 1660. And this area of resistance is based on previous support and also the volume profile indicator here on the daily time frame, showing a lot of resistance around that price range. And so in order to flip more bullish again on the daily time frame in terms of the trend, we need to at least see a confirmed breakout above 1660 and ideally flip that into new support again. Because if that happens, as you can see in the volume profile indicator, we don't really have a lot of resistance just above 1660. Because as you can see in the volume profile indicator, the next major 
resistance above 1660 starts at around the mid 1.8k range. And as for the daily Ethereum price oscillators, first of all, the daily Ethereum MACD is still showing relatively low momentum, which basically means we do not currently have a strong direction, at least in the short term. And as for the daily Ethereum RSI, once again, as of right now, we have not yet broken out into new higher highs. So we still need to see that in order to flip more bullish again in the trend in the RSI. But obviously we have already confirmed these higher lows in the daily Ethereum RSI, also while confirming lower lows in the price action. So once again, that's a bullish divergence now currently active, which once again means we're due to see either some choppy sideways price action, if not a slight bullish relief over the coming one to two weeks or so. And so even if we do not fully confirm a new bullish trend and flip much more bullish again, at the very least, once again, we're due to see a bit of a pause from that bearish trend on the daily timeframe. And as for support and resistance, looking at the Fibonacci retracement tool, we still have that 50% retracement level acting as support at around 1510 to 1520. And as for resistance, once again, we have this previous 38.2% Fibonacci level of support now acting as resistance, sitting at around 1630 to 1640, right where this area of resistance is sitting at. But anyway, if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around it sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using AI, and the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.